Hey everyone, so how's it going? Uh, problem I got is the front half does not match the rear half. The rear half is actually fairly decent paint to it. I mean, it is a work truck, so it's got some little scratches here or there, and I touched them up with some touch-up paint, but I mean, the bed's not perfect. I don't expect it to be. Um, I'm more of a, I don't like rust type of person. So, but anyway, so the front doors, they're, they're regular black. The back is um, that pearl color. So I will change the doors at some point in time. And I do have the fenders already. I just have to paint them and I'll put them on when I do the doors. Um, <clears throat> but right now, uh, I just want to get it drivable, like I say. So I'm going to try to clean up this, uh, this front half here, make it look a little bit better. Uh, it is covered, covered in pollen. Today has been a very polleny day, in case you can't notice. And believe it or not, the back half of this was in that tent. I think it was pulled in right up to the doors here. So all that is what went inside that uh, shut the logic tent. So the front here is very sun faded, uh, but I think it's kind of like, kind of like that. I think I can get it presentable. Um, I'm going to, first I'm going to wash it. I mean, you can see, you see the fading right, right in there. And that's, that's, that's what the paint looks like. So I'm going to wash it first and then I'm going to clay bar it with some, uh, some Meguiar's clay bar kit or mother's, not Meguiar's. Um, I think I looked into it. I think mother's was actually a better deal than the Meguiar's was. Um, I don't know if it's actually better than the other or what, but this is what I went with. I think this was like $30, dollars $38, something like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to wash it, then I'm going to clay bar it, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to use some Meguiar's rubbing compound, and I'm going to try to do all this by hand and see how it comes out. I'm at least gonna do a fair amount of it by hand and show you kinda how it'll come out by doing that. Um, I might get a polisher, all those like Harbor Freight $50 polishers, and uh, speed up the process. I don't know yet, but I intend to do it by hand and uh, we'll see how it comes out. And uh, once we're done with all that, you're gonna be able to turn this into this. So, you got a lot of this uh, kind of ground, not ground in, but like petrified pollen on there, or whatever that is. And it's kind of everywhere. It's all over the bumpy here. I don't know how well that's gonna come off. We'll see. You got this, uh, I don't know, moss or something. I don't know what that really is, but what makes a, what makes a mark like that? like a caterpillar or something crawling along there. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm up against. We'll try to, uh, I mean, that's not anything. But you can see it's it's on there pretty good in some spots. So I get a couple of things. Um, get these little brushes. <clears throat> I got that one's kind of a soft one. This was in like, uh, I don't know, the, uh, section where they get all the you know house cleaning things it's a little more aggressive am i use it on something that i'm not really too concerned with we'll see depending on if that takes care of it so what i use some of this just car wash in there a liberal amount of car wash and uh put it in a bucket let's try to try to clean this up
All right, so I got this all washed pretty well for washing, what washing would do anyway. You can see we're still pretty, pretty hazy on the hood here. Um, not very shiny. Uh, I mean, this fender ain't horrible. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. I was looking at it like this. This side I don't think was parked in the sun so much as the other side. But uh, you can see there's still some kind of streaking by the door handles and all along the bottom it's all pretty foggy. But in the middle of the door ain't, ain't super bad. But you can see haze there and haze all down here. Um, back doors like that too. Um, so this was the the new paint right there, which you no, know, it's not it's not too far off. It's just at least right there anyway. But this side, this side was in the sun, so I mean it almost doesn't even look like the same truck doors. So I mean like that's the new paint, and that is the original paint. It is a pretty pretty distinct difference. So this is the side that is going to be the challenge, as you can see, as it dries. It actually looked pretty good when it was wet. You see it's black where it's wet there. I was like, oh, I might not have to do anything. But, uh, nope. So I guess next step is going to be clay bar. So I'm going to try to clay bar this. Um, I think I got the same kind of spottiness, like right here on the hood. Now this camera doesn't pick it up very well. But... Anyway, trust me, it's all kind of spotty. I don't know if it's lichen, lechen, or if it's just crap from having plants growing on it. But anyway, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clay bar this. All right, so I'm done clay barring this. Um, I will say, don't let the instant, uh, what is that? The instant detailer dry because it did make streaks in here when I did it. Say I was using one, one cloth as I went around and it started getting kind of saturated. So it wasn't wiping it all off right down, right down to dry. So it was leaving a little bit there and it left the haze and I had to actually kind of mist it and then re wipe it down to get the streaks off that were on here so anyway this is what it looks like after the clay bar i mean it's a little bit better it's not very better it is still needs to be buffed or rubbing compounded whatever you want to call it it is a lot smoother i did get a lot of the impurities out of it generally you can feel where it's kind of gritty and uh it, like i say it took it took that off so it's, it's actually a lot smoother all over so i'm pretty sure we got the paint semi clean ish so the bed came out better i'll probably have to do this side because it uh it didn't take off that kind of haze that's all over it i'll like find get it for you you see like the haze that's all on there didn't take that off. I was kind of hoping it would. I might try going back over it again and see if it does. Maybe I didn't spend enough time on it. Um, it's really just, it's really just kind of on right here. All right. So I'll bring in. You can see the kind of faded paint we got again. So what I'm going to use is this Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I got this little applicator doodad and this to wipe it off and uh, see how it goes.
So here's the foggy haze. Let's do that spot right there. Buggy haze no more. So that's kind of where I stopped. Comes out pretty good. I'm probably going to use some polish after this. I tried to find the Meguiar's polish because I got the Ultimate Compound. They have a polish that goes with it, but they didn't have any. It's kind of weird that they would have this, but they wouldn't have the polish. So I got some turtle wax polish which, I don't know, might be just as good, or might not be. Um, but I might try to find the Meguiar's polish too. I'll just kind of look around for it. Uh, I'm not gonna finish this today. I was just kind of trying to give you sort of what it's gonna look like, just to uh, kind of move on with the, the video a little bit, just because, like I say, I'm, I'm not gonna make you watch me polish this, obviously. In, in Buffett so I'm just kind of giving you this is what I'm doing and you can kind of see the results and after I'm done with this stage I'll uh, I'll show it to you and then we'll come back and then I'll polish it after that and then I'll show you after I polish it I'll probably wax it too so this shows up better I'm not pushing down super hard. Just to show you, it's not, not a ruse. Hmm? It might be old too. Night and day difference, huh? So, it's nothing you can't do by hand. It's probably gonna stink to do it by hand. I might get a polisher and give it a try. Being that, so I'm probably not gonna keep these panels afterwards anyway, but. Anyway, so that's kinda how it's gonna go. I'm gonna polish the rest of this and then I'll show it, or I'm gonna use the ultimate compound for the rest of this and then I'll show it to you and then I'll do the polish and I'll show you that. And then uh, they say probably wax it and show it to you when I'm all done. So 
here's that door after a... Uh... Oh, look at that, it's like a little funhouse mirror. Eh, big. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I look like one of the... What is it? One of the uh, hobbits from the Lord of the Rings. This is my precious. <laughs> so, anyway. Is that door? I gotta tell you, my arm is actually very tired, and I only did this for what was it, 20 minutes? I mean, you can do this. I'm gonna do this piece by hand just to show you what you can do by hand as an example, but I'm not doing the rest by hand. That's all you get. So, you can do it, you gotta want it, and you can have it if you want it, but. I don't want it that bad. So I bought uh bought one of those cheap Bauer dual action polishers 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 from uh from the harbor freight yesterday and uh I'm gonna go with that because that's same for me. I say you can do whatever you want. I mean maybe pay your kids or something to do it, but it, it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, you pretty much, at least at least with what I have. I mean, it's not taking out the scratches. It does, there is scratches in here. It's not removing the scratches, but it is taking the haze off. So, that's a plus. I mean, it went from looking like that to looking like that. That looks brand new compared to that. I mean, it's not. And it doesn't even look like that when you get up close. But on the camera, it looks brand new, you know, from here. So, anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to use the polisher and do the rest with that. I'm still going to use the Ultimate Compound from Meguiar's. And, yeah. Kind of fighting the pollen, too. But like I say, I'm still going to use the Ultimate Compound, the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I'm just going to use the, the Bauer DA polisher. It's the cheaper one. The 5.7 amp guy. And uh, I'm going to do that with that. I think I'm going to use the green medium pad. And I didn't get a finishing pad. I thought I did. But, you know, they're a little, a little different. So, this is what I got. I just grabbed one of each. Hopefully I can get it done with one of each. I don't know. But I might not use that one. That one I just got just in case. I was going to use... The medium for the ultimate compound, and I was going to use the fine for the polish. And I didn't get a finishing one for wax. I thought that this ultra fine one would be a finishing one, and it very well may be, but it doesn't say that. Not like the other cheaper ones said it is actually a finishing one for ideal for a show car finish. The fourth step in the bio polishing system. So high density, soft cells, ideal for tanning and ultra gloss, high car fin, high show car finish. Yeah, this doesn't say that it's for finishing. I guess maybe it is. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna get the other one. It's like a it's like a black one that isn't the Bauer. It's like a, a different piece of junk. But anyway, so I'm gonna start with the green one. Anyway, on the uh, on this guy here with the ultimate compound and. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. This is being polished with the um, same ultimate compound and this $50 polisher with a medium pad. Basically, it actually goes really easy and really quick. I'm just uh, dabbing like four or five drops on there. Oh, yay big. It has a P quarter. So I did the back door and I did the front fender. And this was from hand, so it doesn't, doesn't look, I mean, I, it still has kind of scratch. Well, no, it's getting better. I mean, I guess if I was trying to take every scratch out, it would be different, but I'm really just kind of trying to polish it and make it shiny and stuff. You could probably keep going over to take all the scratches up. That's not my total intention. It's just to bring the luster back. See, this is actually just a reflection of me. That's why I look so short and fat in it. Even though I'm not that far off in appearance. Um, like I say, that's the that's a DA polisher. This is by hand, and that is the polisher for the fender. Um, yeah. 
I mean, you do get a little bit better result with the polisher, but like I say, it's nothing you can't do by hand. I will say it does come out better with the polisher, though. It's far less strenuous, far less um, time-consuming. Obviously, a little bit more money. Um, got that with a coupon. It was $50 for the polisher, $10 per pad. Or you can get the cheaper pads that are like $6.50 per pad. But these are the, I guess, the better ones. I don't know. So that doesn't look too bad compared to what it used to look like. I guess I haven't gotten Meguiar's polish, so I think I'm going to wind up using the turtle wax stuff that I got. Just here. Uh, clean finish polishing compound. Turtle wax. Be totally honest, I can't. I mean, I'm sure people will tell me, oh, they're totally different, not even the same, but you know, how different could they really be? Anyway, so I'm gonna do the rear, the back of the bed, and then I think I'm gonna try to polish this and see see the result we get. That is what that looks like after the polish. Like I say, I mean, doing it by hand, I don't know, notice a huge difference, but it's kind of cloudy out. If the sun was on it, it might be a little bit shinier. I said polish is supposed to like take the smaller imperfection out, imperfections out. Um, yeah, definitely got a pretty good gloss to it now. I think if I put some wax on it, it'll look maybe a little bit more shiny. It's a pretty good, pretty good gloss to it to begin with, like this. But mm, I say it's that's what that looks like after a hand polish it. All right, so wax this. I use the uh, the white pad for that and just use some turtle wax hard shell wax. This is actually kind of old. I don't even know if it's all that good, but uh seems to work. Got a little bit down there. So I use the polisher to do this, I use the polisher to do that, and I do this by hand. Um, I don't notice a giant difference, I wish I had some sun for you, but it went down and every time I go to do this, it's covered in pollen and I have to keep cleaning it off and it's just, it's become a little difficult just to uh, get it clean enough to do anything after. So, right now it's about... As good as I can get it. So, yeah. Different looks a little different than it did before. All right. Give me some of your uh, ultimate compound. Make sure I'm in the shot. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. I'm just kind of. Loading it up because it's it's got nothing in it because it's uh, well washed out. I'm just gonna kind of you know, like rub it around, and rub it in. Probably do this other ways. It's just how I'm doing it.
And there's that. Got some in there. Now, like I said, I'll just kind of dab it on the side. And you probably start at a lower RPM. It's kind of what everyone was saying. Started like one or something. I think I'm well I did I did four for the wax just because it's kind of whipping it around and you don't need to I don't know if you need, say I'm not all that great at this. So I don't know what I'm looking for with the wax. I was just kind of applying the wax with it. So I think I used it on four for the wax, but like when I'm when I'm buffing it and or using the rubbing compound, whatever you call it, I had it on five. Uh I think you put it down like two. Two to kind of spread the stuff around so it's not just kind of whipping it all over the place. And then um then once you get once you get the the uh the rubbing compound spread out, then you turn it up to like five or something. So, that's how that came out. It wasn't too bad over there to begin with. But, quite a mirror finish. Yeah, you can see right there, I think I'm just too close with the sun on me. But, anyway.
kind of like glass. So I'm gonna do the rest of this, and then uh, basically I'm gonna apply the polish the exact same way, and I'm gonna put the uh, the wax on, probably with the polisher as well, like I said. And I'll turn it down for that because I don't think you. I say I don't know exactly what you're looking for with putting wax on with this. I'm just kind of doing it because it goes a lot faster with this, and I think the wax kind of goes a bigger distance like it's not so put it on the thing and then you kind of spread it around you get a lot more here or there this kind of spreads it out so it goes a lot farther and then uh and wipe it off but so anyway that's that <laughs> So this is what it looks like all waxed. I just fade a little bit of sun, but I guess if there's a little bit of sun, you can kind of see it a little shinier, but no, I think it came out pretty good for, uh, for what I did. Actually really isn't too hard to do this, at least for what I did, I'm sure. If you want to get a really good job it's probably difficult but for what I did I mean looks a lot better and wasn't that bad a mosquito right by that thing so anyway that's that still got to do the hood and I'll wax the roof and I should be done so this has been by far by far one of my more difficult videos to make just because of the time it took to do this and the interruptions that I had and things like that and weather so anyway hopefully I can bring it together and it's not uh, too bad to watch but anyway so I hope that can help somebody thanks for watching there you go so I got the hood figured I'd put a little clip at the end oh that's the house reflection Whew. so anyway that's that. I think I'm done. So, adios everybody. Have a nice day.